back to Beyond the Scale, we are going to go ahead and do a tips and information video changing the spur gear on the mud truck. This is uh, originally the HPI Wheelie King. So here's the uh, spur gear, 92 to 48 pitch, part number 6990. I think it's uh, about $6. So let's uh, crack this open. Check this out. There you go. Pretty simple. Um, plastic. I couldn't find any metal ones at the time. So just went ahead, bought the cheap plastic, and see how long it lasts. This one's been going for, you know, two or so years since I've had it. So not too bad. And um, But time for a change. In. Take off this body. Set that aside. Now on this one, I have a custom little mount bracket, so you won't have that in the way. So disregard dealing with that at all. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm missing one of the body style clips that goes over here but I got this one still pull that out that's all it is and then the cover just slips off right there might take a little bit of finessing but should come out now this is why I loosened my mounting bracket because when it's tight it pinches this up against there so I can't get it out at all but I'm hoping with it loose I can still squeeze this through. Alright. There you go. Um, what I like to do too is put all my pieces just in there for the time being. So this is the, uh, the guy we're after right here. Spur gear down there. So from this point, get a long Phillips, and I will be going to the middle front, taking that center one screw out. Might have to hold the spur gear with your other finger. Try to lock it in so it doesn't move. So we just took out. And the spur gear just slides right off. You can see right in here. That's the shaft with the little uh, pin that I just moved. That's what this slides onto. And there's the uh, pin right there. So now we just got to take these four Phillips screws out and then we move this backing plate, this little front part, so we can transfer the hardware to the new one. done. That just slides out the back. Just like that. So here's the old one. Part number matches 0669. And um, yeah. Now all you're going to do is pop that through and uh, all the holes pretty much just line straight up. Pretty self-explanatory. That part and all we're going to do is what I'm going to do is hand start all four of these and then I'll tighten them with the screwdriver. If you just go in with the screwdriver right away, you can run the risk of cross threading. So this way by hand starting it prevents that from happening. And a little side note, that pen that's in there, 
that goes this way, it likes to sometimes fall out, so just be careful if you are doing this outside or somewhere where there's little cracks around. Um, I'll just go ahead and pull that pin out just in case it does decide to fall out on you. Nice and tight. I'm going to go ahead and slide this back on the shaft itself. And then we'll uh, run this bolt in the center. And that's what we're going to be doing on the inside here. This is probably hard to see. Now, if you guys do want uh, to make it a little easier, you can loosen the motor mount itself, and that will uh, give you some clearance on just sliding in there a little bit easier, but I didn't have too much trouble there. pinch the spur gear with your finger, snug it up, and from this point I'm not going to do it on camera just because this video is just how to change your spur gear, but what you're going to do is loosen your one side of the motor mount so you can uh, move your pinion up, just take a thin piece of paper, put it in between there, uh, push it down, and once you uh, just tighten it once you have good uh, clearance where you can pull this paper out, that should be uh, plenty of mesh for the uh, spur and pinion gear. But I'm going to do that off camera, so I'm not going to put this on yet just because i got to do that. But you probably, if you're in a pinch, can just leave it as is. It's probably good on the mesh from the old setup. But if you are concerned, just go do that before uh, putting your cover on. But this cover will go on, and then you'll have two of these body pins that will go on the other side that go on these little slots right here. So, Thank you for uh, tuning in. Hopefully this video helped you or gave you an idea. Um, if you are looking into getting one of these trucks, I highly recommend a Wheelie King. Especially uh, if you go find one for... Uh, cheaper price used. I picked this one up a couple years ago for 120 and that was with shipping, so not a bad deal. It all ran, no issues. Um, since then, it now has been more from the monster truck to this uh, mud truck. But uh, please subscribe if you have not yet. Hit the like button, share the video. Go ahead and uh, if you're on Facebook, there's a Be on the Skill page you can join. Share your photos, videos, uh, YouTube link channels, products, and check out Dude Vinyl. There's t-shirts and decals on there as well. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.